The governor introduced a multi-million dollar tax package and is talking about implementing a low carbon fuel standard that could impact the cost of fuel and products. Do you support these proposals? No, I don't. And I wish the governor would go back to his campaign promises of no new taxes. Uh, he's, uh, these, these proposed taxes are already going to hurt an economy that is, that is uh, treading water. And uh, the, I mean, we've already rejected uh, taxes on bottled water and the increased car, uh, taxes on uh, car transactions. But the, the one that's got re people really worried is this potential for uh, low carbon fuels. Uh, first of all, he thinks he can, we think he may try to do it through executive action. We believe it should be done through legislative action, if at all. And, uh, and the cost per gallon estimates are anywhere from I've seen as low as 30 cents a gallon to as high as potentially two dollars a gallon more for the cost of gasoline. You know, we're talking about a tax of 10 cents a gallon and people are really not worried about that. Here we have something that could cost us a lot more being potentially proposed by the governor. So uh, that, that is something we need to uh, work on right now. The 60-day session is at the halfway point this week. What does that mean for legislation being considered in the House? Well, I guess anything that has to do with policy has to have been out of committee. And, uh, and being the new guy in the block, I'm watching how the, uh, the ramifications of uh, bills that come out of the Senate, bills that come in the House, come to the floor and see uh, um, how that all works. It's a, it's a new process for me, and I'm, uh, um, I'm enjoying it. After session ends on March 13th, will you be visiting with constituents around the district? Yes, in fact, we're doing it right now. Uh, myself and Senator O'Ban have already had one town hall in DuPont, and we've already had a, a telephone town hall. Uh, we have another one planned in, in Graham, Washington, uh, over there at the Graham Firehouse uh, in, in about another week. But we're going to plan a lot more uh, you know, events all throughout the 28th legislative district. <laughs>